Okay, guys. Hi. Um, hope you're everyone's okay. We are going to do a small review of the grammar in this unit. Okay, in unit six, the one we started last week. I'll do. Um, I'll go over the tables, the two grammar tables that are in the book with you guys. So it will. It this will hopefully help you understand if you haven't gotten it yet. So. We are going to start with the structure used for, okay? In this case, the most important part, the most important thing in this unit is the difference between the singular and the plural. Do you remember what singular was? That's right. Singular is only one person, one thing. How about the plural? When we talk about the plural, we are talking about lots of things, lots of people. Th two, three, four, five, whatever. Let's go back for a minute, okay? We're going to go to the board for a, board for a minute and we're going to look at, let me get the black one because if not, you're not going to be able to see, singular. Remember, I always do this in the class. I always do this in, at, in the class. Um, I always do this in the class. So singular is only one person, only one Plural is when we talk about a lot of people, a lot of people, not just only one. I hope you can see that, very, but I, I'm not sure if you can see that with the, with the lights. Anyway, singular, one person, plural, more than one. Now, let's go back to the book. Okay, and then we have, when we have the singular, the first thing that we have to think about is that we add an a at the beginning of the sentence. A fridge, a washing machine, a toaster. Okay, I'm going to mark that for you guys so that you can see it. Hopefully this will help you. A fridge. Now, the auxiliary verb that we have to put before used for is is that's right because it's the singular used for is the same for the bo for both structures and now the end of the sentence is also the same for both structures you know that the verb is to keep to wash to make but what do we have to do so that that so that the sentence ha has a real meaning we have to add the ing form at the end of the verb so that would make the sentence in the singular a Fridge is used for keeping food cold. Now, let's go to the plural. Remember plural? More than one. Two, three, four, five, whatever. We have to add the S at the end of the thing, at the end of the noun. So that would become microwaves. What is the auxiliary verb we used? We use the auxiliary verb the auxiliary verb that we use if for the plural sentence is are, okay? So we have microwaves, are, used for, that is the same, and then again, heat is the verb, but we have to add the in form at the end so that the sentence is correct. That would make the sentence like this. Microwaves are used for heating food. That's exactly what we have in the grammar clue this time, in the yellow little square. And it says, we say that something is or things are used for, plus ing. Okay, that's exactly what I was just telling you. So, and the other two sentences that you have in the bottom are the examples. A washing machine is used for washing your clothes. Toasters are used for making toasts. I'm going to try and put the audio this time so that you can listen to it, okay? Hopefully you'll be able to listen to it. No, it's not working. Okay, but I think it's clear this time. Uh, see you next time. I'm going to go directly into the second part of the grammar. Bye-bye.